We will introduce different equations by the problem of rapids, which was developed in the 13th century by Fibonacci. So here we have a table recording the number of rapids from the start after one month, after two months, and so on, until after one year. In this column, we will fill in the number of pairs of baby rabbits. This column will fill in the number of pairs of mature rabbits. And this column will fill in the total number of pairs of rabbits, which means this column will be the sum of this and this. Because the total would be the number of baby plus the number of pairs of mature rabbits. The question said, initially there is a pair of baby rabbits, one of each gender. So we will put down a one here, meaning that there is one pair of baby rabbits. And then there will be no mature rabbit. Adding up, we have one pair of rabbits in total. In each month, a couple of baby rabbits will mature. This baby rabbit will mature in the next month. And there will be no more baby rabbit because they matured. And in total, we have one pair of rabbits. Each month, a couple of other rabbits will produce a couple of baby rabbits, meaning that this pair of mature rabbits will give birth to one pair of baby rabbits. Assume the rabbits will never die. So this pair of mature rabbits will not die, and then they will still survive in the next month. Adding up, we have two pairs of rabbits after two months. And then after three months, this pair of mature rabbits will give birth to baby rabbits again. We have one here. This pair of baby rabbits will mature, and this mature rabbits will survive. So we will have two pairs of mature rabbits in the next month. And then right now we have three pairs of rabbits. After fourth month, these two pairs of mature rabbits will give birth to two pairs of baby rabbits. This pair of baby rabbits will mature. These two pairs of mature rabbits will survive. We have three pairs of mature rabbits and five pairs in total. These three pairs of mature rabbits will give birth to three pairs of baby rabbits. These two pairs will mature. These three pairs will survive. We have five. Adding up, we have eight in total. So we will continue the table and here we'll have 5 from this 5, 8 from them in total, adding up we got 13. This 8 will give birth to 8, and then mature will be 13, from these two we will have 21. We will have 13 pairs of baby rabbits, 21 pairs of mature rabbits, 34 in total. We will have 21 pairs of baby rabbits, 34 pairs of mature rabbits. We will have 55 in total. 34 pairs of baby rabbits from this mature rabbit. These will mature, this will survive. We will have 55 pairs of mature rabbit. Adding up, we have 89 in total. This 55 will give birth to this 55 pairs of baby rabbits. There will be 89 pairs of mature rabbits from them. Adding up, we have 144 pairs of rabbits. After one year, we will have 89 pairs of baby rabbits given by 89 pairs of mature rabbits here. And then this 55 will mature, this 89 will survive. There will be 144 pairs of mature rabbits. Adding up, we have 233 pairs of rabbits after one year.